All right, welcome to the debate on the Premier League preview show. Today we're asking a very interesting question. We're asking if it is disrespectful to perform or to show both, let me put it that way, to perform eccentric skills during football matches. Is it disrespectful to perform eccentric skills during football matches? Of course, why are we asking this? Anthony's 360, was it 360, 720? How many <laughs> spins did he do? I don't I think know. I think it was 17. 720, two full spins there. Uh, it's gotten people commenting on it. Paul Skull says it's disrespectful. Some people say he shouldn't try it again. Others say, why not? It's the joy of football. Allow players to express themselves. So we're asking whether it is good or disrespectful to perform eccentric skills <laughs> in matches. Guys. Hmm. Is it? I would uh, say yes and no. Yes and no. It's a very complex question, but I'll let yeah. you know. Okay. I would say yes and no. I mean... He's Brazilian. It's in his DNA. What do you want? To, I mean, those people play with oranges in their shoes and do all sorts of things. But then I, I do feel like if you are in a match situation where you are winning 6-0 and you are doing that, then that's disrespectful. But if that is what it takes to evade a defender, if that is what it takes to break lines, if that's what it takes to, I mean, cause some rancor in someone's defense or, some, or one way or the other, or that's what takes you past the player to score, I don't think... It's, it's disrespectful. We've seen people sit down keepers and make them I mean, scramble yeah, over so the ground. So this is the set, Anthony. I think it's worse because the ball went out right after. The pass he played right <laughs> after, the ball went out. So it looks kind of like you did all of that to get rid of the ball. I mean, look at this. Look, look, look. I mean, it's fine that he did it, but then to do it and then play that pass, you know. I, I, I get the intention. It's not like it was a 60-yard diagonal that didn't work. I kind of it get by this is unnecessary. You are, it's zero zero. It's the, the seven minute. Like the guy is like I'm just three yards no, away I'm, from me. I'm just talking about the pass. You, you get the idea. See, <laughs> see, I'm, I'm with Nubo on this. I think it's very cultural. Yeah. If you are done, I feel like English people they are not very into these type of things. Yes. You know, they have a very strict idea of what is respectful to an opponent and. Unnecessary showboating falls under disrespect for them. Yeah. I think in other countries, it's, I feel like maybe in Ghana, it, people will cheer. Yeah. It's to get a, a cheer from the crowd. People won't call it disrespectful. So it's a cultural thing. Cultural thing okay. And this is what we get having an international game. This is someone from Brazil. If you had done this in Brazil, it would be great. Not you know, and that's something about culture. It would probably be the bare minimum. Yeah, that's something. It's a, it's a, that's something. It's a cultural thing because Bra and Brazilians for them football is about entertainment, which yeah. is why Dunga was such a problem when he was national team coach because he was getting the results, but the football, the was, football was bland. Was, yeah. it was so it wasn't. They it was were not. Happy, they were not happy with it. <laughs> In fact, and if you learn about the history of Brazilian football, you know how traumatized they were after the 1982 and 86 World Cups, where they brought the most flair team. Played the most beautiful football, and, win. and I believe Italy and France, yeah. respectively, in knocked them out. Italy knocked them out, out. and then 86 France, France knocked them out. You know that kind of thing. So they have this kind of trauma of playing flair football and not. So there's this battle, and you see it in Argentina too, the same way, because Argentina won the 86 World Cup playing very rigid football, just passed to Maradona and hope he does something. Yeah. But they won the 78 World Cup playing beautiful football. So say, there, there's always this struggle, like. Are we entertained or are we winning? You know, and let's be honest, football is entertainment. People are paying money to be in their stadium. People enjoy their team winning, but I can bet you every fan rather their team won playing beautiful football than won one nil doing nothing. Most ninety percent of fans would prefer. Fans. <laughs> Look, they are turning on contouring. <laughs> results have been. Oh, he's right. Results yeah. have been poor, and because of that, they've turned on him immediately. The, the results is not it's exciting. Yeah, yeah. yeah they've it's not, and if those were two games, but if you look at the table, they are doing pretty well because there's no entertainment value. So entertainment is very important. And if you're a club owner and you're selling a product, because you're selling it on TV, yeah. you're selling people to pay to come to a stadium, entertainment is important. So we need footballers like Anthony who give us the entertainment. But there's that cultural context. You have to know who you are doing it for. Yeah. So you have to know that, okay, maybe this one's a big match. So let me just keep it to using it to beat a player yeah. rather than and need less pain that's just like hey you know that kind of thing so <laughs> i think that's just it's just a cultural context uh, look at when richardson did the keep it up piece. remember yeah. how that was a issue as well yeah. and i believe paqueta is going to have issues very soon with his 
eccentricity. <laughs> so it will be a very interesting Premier League season. Well, for the English fans who are complaining, we should give them a few minutes of South African football. Then they will understand what is. But they had this guy, Andre Kanchelas, or whatever, yeah. play for Man U. Kanchelski. Kanchelski used, to stand, yeah. used to stand on the ball. I think for South Africa, the celebrations are even more than. <laughs> But like it, it, the whole team even gets on there and then they just do this like dance that. and things. So, 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 you are, you are conf You say yes and no. I, I, I'm in the middle a bit. I'm in the middle. There are certain times or there are certain moments where it's a wild wow moment. Oh, okay, he did that, beat the player, let's run assist, let's mm -hmm. work go. But when, for instance, you are wasting time, like with Charleston there, and you are doing keepy-uppies and things like that, it's infuriating. It can, it can. Yes, in as much as you, you wouldn't want someone yeah. to just kick to you or something like that. I feel like football, in as much as it's entertainment, there has to be that level of respect. So there has to be that balance. And maybe sometimes the players get a bit too over the head. Like, Alain Sig Maxima. I, mean, those, <laughs> I, those, I, I don't mind the disrespect, to be honest. I, mean, I think it adds a bit of flavor yeah. to the spectacle that, to know that they well, actually don't like each other. Like, they really. Because when Richard isn't dying, the guy just. <laughs> that was entertaining. <laughs> he could have won him, but it was entertaining yeah. to know that he had he had really got under the person's skin. Like these yeah. things are entertaining in their own way. Like I know maybe it will feel kind of bad if like you're losing six nil and yeah. Anthony does that. I get it. But the fact that you know that the left back is going to clatter Anthony the next time he gets the ball is also part of the entertainment. So I I I enjoy the entertainment because like I said, football is a spectacle. As yeah. much as we are here analyzing it, breaking down it scientifically, there's an entertainment part. It's because people are interested in entertaining. Yeah. That's why we have to give them insights on it. So yeah. I I don't mind. I, I like to see it. I don't like this skill though. I think I think it's not a nice one. But it's not a nice one. I don't I don't. You know, like, if he, if he had done something different, if he had used it to beat the guy, I'd be more happy because I feel like he just. It didn't, it didn't add anything for me, but yeah. I like the entertainment value. If the left back right. had given him the next time, I would have been more happy. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why I see it. I feel like, don't, Interesting. Right. don't kill football. Don't kill football. Don't no, kill I just thought there game. should be a fair balance. There's fair this game going around of saying, like, he's not doing some stuff. <laughs> I mean, do you remember what Bolasi did to oh, yeah, yeah, Love? I mean, we still watch that video to this day. Yeah, yeah. That's touching the floor and all kinds that of was, That was disrespectful, but we're enjoying it. <laughs> all right. I mean, you can't I think they were reading 3 0 at Alfield. You are yeah, allowed to. He just to wiped the floor. Oh, that, was, that was beautiful, guys. <laughs> the Bolasi skill where he was. But that was the ball. I don't I think just... maybe the ball was too hot. So <laughs> 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 no, we can continue the debate wherever wherever you are. Wherever you are, you can continue the debate wherever you are. Look, do, are you in favor of the skill during game? I don't know, but you can let us know. Anyway, this is the Premier League preview show. We'll take a very quick break. When we come back, we've got the final bit of the show. The FPL zone will be upon us. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.